Welcome to episode 3. It is highly recommended that you read the manual first before answering the questions. See the description below to download the manual. Questions and answers are based on Black Tiger Shrimp Hatchery Operations using Enhanced Biosecurity Measures Manual. Choose the best answer. What is the primary characteristic of the mice stage in terms of body orientation? A. Horizontal swimming. B. Upward swimming. C. Head pointing downward. D. Upside down swimming. What is the primary characteristic of the mice stage in terms of body orientation? C. Head pointing downward. The mice's stage is characterized by having a head pointing downward. Which stage of black tiger shrimp already resembles an adult shrimp? A. Protozoa. B. Mysis. C. Post larval. D. Nauplius. Which stage of black tiger shrimp already resembles an adult shrimp? C. Post larval. The post larval stage of the black tiger shrimp already resembles an adult shrimp. What is the approximate size range of the protozoa stage of black tiger shrimp? A. 0.10 to 0.20 millimeters. B. 0.96 to 3.30 millimeters. C. 3.28 to 4.87 millimeters. D. 5 to 6 millimeters. What is the approximate size range of the protozoa stage of black tiger shrimp? B. 0.96 to 3.30 millimeters. The protozoa stage of black tiger shrimp measures from 0.96 millimeters to 3.30 millimeters in total length. What is the primary mode of swimming during the mice stage of black tiger shrimp? A. Vertical propulsion. B. Horizontal movement. C. Backward bending of the abdomen. D. Upside down swimming. What is the primary mode of swimming during the mice stage of black tiger shrimp? C. Backward bending of the abdomen. Swimming during the mice stage is characterized by thoracic propulsion or by bending the abdomen backwards. What is the developmental status of the pleiopods during mice stage? A. Absent. B. Buds at M1 protruding at M2, segmented at M3. C. Fully developed and functional. D. Present but non-functional. What is the developmental status of the pleiopods during mice stage? A. Absent. B. Buds at M1, protruding at M2, segmented at M3. C. Fully developed and functional. D. Present but non-functional. B. During the mice stage, pleiopods appear as buds at M1, protrude at M2, and become segmented at M3. How is the age of black tiger shrimp post larvae determined? A. By counting the days after hatching. B. By counting the days since mating happened. C. By counting the plumose hairs. D. By counting the days since the beginning of the post-larval stage. How is the age of black tiger shrimp post-larvae determined? D. By counting the days since the beginning of the post-larval stage. The age of black tiger shrimp post-larvae corresponds to the number of days since the beginning of the post-larval stage. What is the preferred water depth for larval rearing tanks in the hatchery? A. 0.5 meters. B. 1 meter. C. 1.5 meters. D. 2 meters. What is the preferred water depth for larval rearing tanks in the hatchery? B. 1 meter. The water depth for larval rearing tanks should be about 1 meter to ensure proper conditions for rearing the larvae. What is the purpose of the tapered bottom in spawning and hatching tanks? A. To facilitate easy cleaning. B. To increase the water volume. C. To ensure even water distribution. D. To provide homogeneous aeration necessary for hatching. What is the purpose of the tapered bottom in spawning and hatching tanks? 
B to provide homogeneous aeration necessary for hatching. The tapered bottom in spawning and hatching tanks allows for even and homogeneous aeration, which is crucial for successful hatching. What is the recommended volume range for larval rearing tanks in the hatchery? A. 5 to 8 tons B. 10 to 12 tons C. 15 to 18 tons D. 20 to 25 tons What is the recommended volume range for larval rearing tanks in the hatchery? B. 10 to 12 tons Larval rearing tanks are preferably manageable and have capacities ranging from 10 to 12 tons, ensuring optimal conditions for rearing larvae. What is the primary purpose of the natural food laboratory in the hatchery? A. To culture artemia. B. To store feeds and vitamins. C. To monitor water temperature. D. To supply diatoms and live feed. What is the primary purpose of the natural food laboratory in the hatchery? D. To supply the atoms and live feed. The natural food laboratory in the hatchery is responsible for culturing the atoms and artemia, which are essential for feeding the shrimp larvae. What type of tanks are suitable for culturing the atoms indoors? A. Concrete tanks. B. Circular fiber glass tanks. C. 250 liter culture containers. D. 1 liter to 20 liter culture containers. What type of tanks are suitable for culturing the atoms indoors? D. 1 liter to 20 liter culture containers. Indoor culture of the atoms can utilize 1 liter to 20 liter culture containers before scaling up to larger concrete outdoor algal tanks. Why should Artemia culture tanks have a conical bottom? A. To increase tank volume. B. To facilitate feeding. C. To enhance water circulation. D. For faster draining and harvesting of Artemia. Why should Artemia culture tanks have a conical bottom? D. For faster draining and harvesting of Artemia. Conical bottoms in Artemia culture tanks allow for faster draining and harvesting of Artemia ensuring efficient operations. What is the purpose of wastewater treatment tanks in the hatchery? A. To store wastewater. B. To store excess water. C. To disinfect effluents. D. To filter contaminated water. What is the purpose of wastewater treatment tanks in the hatchery? C. To disinfect effluents. Wastewater treatment tanks disinfect effluents with chlorine and aerate them to ensure safe discharge to the sea after each operation. What equipment is needed for monitoring and counting the algal cells of the atoms? A. Microscope and hematocytometer. B. Refractometer and thermometer. C. Weighing scale and microscope. D. Hematocytometer and handheld counter. What equipment is needed for monitoring and counting the algal cells of the atoms? A. Microscope and hematocytometer. Microscope and hematocytometer. What is the purpose of the refrigerator in the hatchery? A. To store excess artemia. B. To store water samples. C. To culture diatoms. D. To store feeds, vitamins, and other materials. What is the purpose of the refrigerator in the hatchery? D. To store feeds, vitamins, and other materials. The refrigerator is required to store feeds, vitamins, fertilizers, and other materials needed for hatchery operations.